just want to put things into context for you. What you're about to hear is a guy named Rob, who I like. His channel is amazing. Go check it out. Convict. Convict Inc. With a dot. At the end of Inc. And what he's explaining is the prostitution racket within the penitentiary system, the federal penitentiary system, in terms of the white group. As we all know, when it comes to prison, state or federal, a lot of systems are segregated racially. Not because of racism, but because you have to fall in with your race, because that, that just makes a lot of behavioral organization easier, you know. And, uh, you know, people are accountable for their own race and things like that. But he's basically explaining how that goes. He's a part of a group called the Dirty White Boys. They're pretty much on the decline. They're an old school prison gang that formed it back in the 80s. They were subservient to the Aryan Brotherhood like any other smaller white gang. And uh, just take a listen. He's talking about how they used to sell white inmates to black black guys. The Dirty White Boys, we were in, okay, Leavenworth, they were, they were in the prostitution, meaning any white folks would come in. They didn't sit there and pick them out like sex, sex acts. They would take the guy that came in and say, press up on him and say, hey, this, you're not going to be doing this in this compound we're selling. So they would like lease them. Uh, I remember one white guy that was homosexual, had a little bitty arm, deformed arm. He was sold for, for heroin to uh, rent it for a, a 90 days or a month to a guy named... I'll just say R. He was a high-ranking crip. Used to get a lot of drugs in. And uh, the guy came back complaining because when, when, when he was hitting from behind, he saw the little arm fling it and, and it grossed him out. Remember his erection? <laughs> and yeah, I just want you guys to know that this is something that does occur in prison. These white supremacist gangs claim that their number one goal is to protect their race to preserve the racial, the racial, uh, their racial identity, their racial culture, to spread awareness of how great their culture is to their fellow people, but they are in the federal prisons and state prisons pimping out their own people, and this has, this is no reflection to Rob, because as we all know, when as you know, I know, Rob actually wasn't involved in that kind of thing, he's simply explaining what his two eyes, and that's, the prostitution part is something that he did not agree with, and he had a life sentence at that point in time, and, uh, Thank God he came home, but he was not with that. He actually stuck to the traditional rackets of drugs and things like that, but he was totally 100% against prostitution. He's just telling the story of what he's seen within his own gang. Peace.